Welcome back, this is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're gonna to talk about motion sickness, or car sickness, or seasickness. And what are some of the remedies we can apply for those people who have this issue with motion? So let's get right into it. You can use ginger, 500 milligrams one hour before travel, and then 500 milligrams every maybe two to four hours, depending on the severity of your symptoms. They've done studies on this, 940 milligrams of ginger versus Dramamine, and actually ginger did better in terms of overall symptomatology. They've also done studies where they gave uh, naval cadets 1,000 milligrams of ginger, and their motion sickness or uh, seasickness was decreased by 38%, and then vomiting was decreased by a whopping 72%. So that's a very good way to use a natural substance to help with motion sickness or seasickness. There are other studies on this, so I'll go ahead and link those studies below. And I've also done a video, a more in-depth video on ginger and all the different benefits outside of just seasickness or motion sickness. Now, cars and boats, where to sit? In the car, you definitely want to sit in the front. You want to be either the driver or in the front passenger seat. Uh, that gives you the ability to look out further and fixate your eyes at a distance. And that will help minimize some of the symptoms that may be associated with car sickness. If you're on a boat or let's say a cruise ship, you want to get a cabin that's maybe in the middle of the ship and in the lower levels, not at the upper levels. This will minimize some of the movements and that would be beneficial. You don't want to be reading in the car. So you don't want to be in the back seat and reading a book or a, a small phone or a tablet where the eyes have to kind of constantly readjust and look through um, a, a, the lines where you're reading. So it creates problems. So you want to be able to fixate at a distance, not at very close uh, distances. You don't want to eat heavy meals. Uh, you don't want to upset your stomach. So you want to eat smaller meals when you're traveling. Fresh air is very important. So you want to either have the air conditioning on or open the window so you can get fresh air through the cabin. And that's very important also. So outside of that, what else can we do to prevent motion sickness? It's exercise. You have to be able to exercise certain vestibular areas that can help improve or help you accommodate to the movements of a car or a boat. So most people who, let's say, go on a boat or on a cruise, they may get, get some sickness for maybe one or two days, and they'll readjust, and they st seem to do better in the second or third or fourth day of a cruise. That's because your body has the ability to adapt. Now, before travel, what you want to do is do some exercises that will promote this, where you can kind of mimic what it feels like to be on a boat or in a car, right? One thing to do is neck stretches. So you can do very simple neck stretches, looking all the way down, looking all the way up, turning left, right, tilting side to side. You want to be able to do those motions slowly without feeling nauseous or feeling dizzy. So start with neck stretches or ranges of motion. You also want to do deep belly breathing because you want to get full oxygenation to our nervous system and our brain. So belly breathing. Belly breathing is basically this. Instead of using uh, your chest to open up and breathe, like what you want to do is push out your belly and push your diaphragm down. There are a lot of videos on this on YouTube, so go ahead and, and, and watch some of those videos. So basically you want to push your belly out forward while taking a deep breath. You want to take, let's say, three seconds to breathe in and then six seconds to breathe out or four seconds to breathe in or eight seconds to breathe out. And that will help control your breathing oxygenation. So oxygenation is very important. So belly breathing would be great. There are also exercises, what we call yes, yes and no, no exercises. So when you do these stretches, basically, if you thought this was a no, right? What you can do is look at your thumb and fixate on your thumb while looking or turning your head side to side. 
So the ability to fixate your eyes on an object is very important to the vestibular system because uh, your eyes gives you that perception of depth and movement. So you want to be able to exercise that. So you have no, right, while looking at your thumb. And then you can do yes. You can nod. And you're looking at your thumb the entire time. Now you can get fancy instead of just yes, yes, no, no's. What you can do is kind of look back at angles while fixating on your thumb. Now there are you know, complicated terms for this in terms of canal stimulus, like anterior, horizontal, or posterior canals. But essentially you want to be able to move your head in different positions while fixating on a point. So that would be the yes, yes, no, no exercises. Also, you can do balance exercises. So feet together. Just put your feet together uh, and, and just stand upright. And you can start doing these ranges of motion of the neck as well as the yes, yes, no, no exercises. And then what you can do is just close your eyes with your feet together. Now, if you have balance problems, you know, please be careful. You know, make sure there's a chair behind you or you can hold on to something. You don't want to fall. So when you take the visual input out, you close your eyes, the cerebellum has to kick in and create the balance. So when you close your eyes with your feet together, you may feel a little bit wobbly, but that's good because what you're going to do is you're going to start exercising the cerebellum and it'll get more stable over time. You can also do what we call the tandem gait. So that's the, uh, the drunk test where you put your feet one in front of the other and just stand there. Right? Can we balance with one foot in front of the other? You want to do that and then close your eyes and see how you do. Again, support yourself. Make sure you're not going to fall or there's a wall next to you or a chair next to you so you don't uh, take a tumble. So you can do a tandem gait with your eyes open and closed. Standing on one leg. Great balance exercise. So just lift one leg and stand on your right leg. Lift the right leg and stand on your left leg. See how long you can last. I would say the average adult can stand anywhere from 30 seconds up to a full minute without really having issues standing on one leg. Now, the hardest part would be if you stood on one leg and then closed your eyes. That's very difficult. But even then, you should still be able to stand about 30 seconds with your eyes closed standing on one leg. So be, but be careful with that one. So you can do all these exercises with eyes closed, or you can do these with all the yes, yes, no, no exercises. And if you want to get really advanced, what you do is you start walking and turn your head while fixating on an object. So you can look at your thumb and fixate, turning your head back and forth while walking. And the other more complicated movement would be if you're turning your head to the left, you can move your hand to the right ever so slightly and vice versa. So what you want to be able to do is create the opposite movement of the head movement with the hand going in opposite directions in small amounts. And that will create a, a more uh, robust vestibular input and it can create, you know, uh, minimize seasickness or car sickness. I would do the simple things first, neck stretches, belly breathing, yes, yes, no exercises in a stable surface, then go into these different exercises, then start walking and doing the yes, yes, no, no's. So uh, there are a lot of different things you can do, but basically you have to uh, enhance your vestibular system for you to uh, prevent car sickness or motion sickness, all right, and using ginger can be a great adjunct to all of this. All right. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.